Yo, what's good, y'all? Today, we got five ways to practice self-love. I'm gonna be getting right into today's topic because the day is just rolling along and I got stuff to do, okay? Um, use one of these notebooks that I had lying around to actually jot down the, the points I want to touch on. <clears throat> so number one, number one way to practice self-love is saying no. Getting comfortable saying no. For me, y'all, I have had some people pleasing tendencies throughout my life. And saying no, I mean, I've seen this in other people as well, but that can be a challenge for us at times, right? Especially when it comes to our loved ones asking things of us and us just feeling a sense of duty, a sense of responsibility, us wanting to show up for other people. But if we're practicing self-love, you know, Sometimes saying yes and agreeing to things puts ourselves on the back burner and that's not really self-love. You know, at times there 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 is room for sacrifice. Sometimes that's necessary. Other times we are just putting ourselves on the back burner and you know not really looking out for ourselves and showing up as best we can because we've agreed to do something that maybe we didn't really want to do and i saw something or heard you know if it's not a full complete yes in your body and and you don't feel completely okay just agreeing to do something then it's okay to say no you can you know, um, and also, you know, an alternative is giving yourself time, allowing yourself time to think about your response. You know, I do that a lot. If, if I'm uncertain about if someone's making a request of me and I'm uncertain, if then I feel like, you know, that's something I'm going to want to do down the line or now in the moment, I don't have an answer or I don't want to give an answer. And then feel obligated or responsible or like I have to fulfill what I said I would and I'll be like hey uh, I'll get back to you on that that's completely fine too that's a happy medium that way we're not overextending ourselves and abandoning ourselves and agreeing to, to do things that we may not completely entirely want to do um yeah, and if people can't take that, then you feel me? That that should just be a no straight off. People should allow you time to think about, you know, what it is you want to do. Get your ducks in a row. This, that, the third. Number two. <clears throat> Allowing distance and boundaries with people that drain your energy. <laughs> okay. I know we've all had conversations with people where it just feels like a one-sided conversation. You can't even get your thoughts off. They're just like, you might as well just be a, a statue, a brick wall. You don't even got to say nothing back and they will just keep going. People like that, conversations like that just drain me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's like, why am I here? Why, why, why am I here if we're not going to have some back and forth dialogue? You know, and people just sometimes just want to have a vent session. And you don't got to be there for that. I mean, you can if that doesn't bother you. But if it does, set limits. And it can be hard in the moment to be like, all right, done talking to you. I'm going I'm to be on my way now. Okay, bye. You know, <laughs> that's that's not easy to do. I don't even know if I can just do that, that simply myself. But make note of the type of people that are draining of your energy you feel me and it doesn't have to just be strictly laid out to conversations you know it could be people that gossip a lot that could be that could be draining too you know what I'm saying or people that just always complain set boundaries know how to distance yourself 
when necessary. To protect your energy. That that's it's very important. And I feel like that's a, a great way to practice some self-love. Because what, what does that look like? You know, people always say practice self-love. And with this list, and I could have said this in the beginning, but it's coming to me now, okay? <laughs> <coughs> we often know, you know, a lot of the things that we need to do. Eat better, drink more water, you know, get some sleep. Maybe wake up a bit earlier exercise you know there's a lot of typical things that people think when self-love comes up but yeah with this list i'm trying to give you guys some maybe not really conventional ways to practice self-love that i've seen for myself have helped um that helped me in the long run and you know just showing up for myself and and just maintain balance and and stability within my energy you know what i'm saying <clears throat> that's number two that kind of in saying no kind of ties into you know the distance thing if if needs be it doesn't necessarily always have to be a conversation but i feel like communication is key and the more that people can know about how we feel i feel like that's you know that that can lead for I guess just more conclusive results. At least both people are on the same page. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> number three, number three, number three, number three. This is something that I am still working on myself. I'm getting better at it. Uh, but I think a lot of people can... Bro, these ladybugs and beetles are everywhere. I don't know. Fall time every year, they just like bring up out of nowhere it's they get in the house they get on the house they just be all over the city and it's like bruh how all my windows are closed there is no reason for you to be up there right now number three spending more wisely being more frugal more ju judicious more um mindful <laughs> that's a safe way to put it um, of your finances and where your money's going. That is an act of self-love, yo. <laughs> you, yo. I know I've had times in my life where, you know, I'll be going through something and, you know, just want to want to spend a little more, you know. Maybe I had a rough day and I'm going to just order me a pizza. I'm going to just order some food, you know. <clears throat> Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna bother with making anything. I, I just wanna eat. I just wanna intake, just scarf down some calories. That's how I'm feeling. That'll make me feel better, right? And and it does in the moment, but also that costs money. You now I wrote on my board over there, no extra shit. So I've been cutting back. It's not perfect, but I am being more mindful of where my money is going. That is a way that practice self-love because you are looking out for yourself for the future for your future self putting yourself in the best possible standings financially that takes work now that takes effort now that takes some love some discipline <laughs> i like to snack well do i i do do I? <laughs> I don't really like to snack as much as I used to, but you know, I do like a I do like a hot meal and just with all these DoorDashes and Uber Eats and, and fucking Grubhubs and all these delivery services where food is just at your fingertips. You feel me? That's something that can be very alluring, very tempting. <laughs> to step into but all that can cost money and that shit adds up you feel me so be more mindful where your money is going as a way to practice self-love and you know because with all the service fees that stuff adds up too 
You know, when I realized that, oh, if I go to balance in person and I get me a bowl, it's ten dollars. But if I get it on the app, it's like thirteen, fourteen dollars. It's a no brainer. Like if you do want it, then maybe just go in person. I mean, it's less money you are still spending, but less overtime, less in totality. Be mindful where your money's going. Your future self will really appreciate it later. Oh, bro. Don't get in a bunch of credit card. It wasn't even a bunch, honestly. It was, you know, a couple, you know, it was a couple thousand dollars. A few thousand dollars. Don't get in, in, in credit card debt. You know, that, that's just not it. The fifth thing, the fifth way to, one of my unconventional ways to practice self-love is to create a vision. Have a vision for yourself. If you don't have a vision, create a vision for yourself and the person that you want to be. I'm gonna run that back because this one is crucial. It's critical. Have a vision of the person that you want to be. If you don't have a vision of the person you want to be, create a vision of the person you want to be. I remember a few years back, probably more than a few, maybe about five years ago. I pictured myself, I pictured myself being in, in better shape. I wanted to get in better shape, right? Still working towards my goal, but I am in much better shape than I was five years ago. I pictured myself. You know, having having dreads. I wanted some long dreads. You know what I'm saying? And they, they're they're getting to where I envisioned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I knew I wanted to grow my hair out. Like that's. I had a physical, not a physical, but I had a vision of what I wanted to look like physically. Right, and that's a goal that I'm working towards. You feel me? And that's an act of self love. You know, seeing a better, a brighter future for yourself and working towards that daily. But before even the work part, just creating, having that vision, seeing yourself financially stable. You know, maybe you see yourself moving, living somewhere else. Maybe you see yourself having a home getting out of your city. Maybe you see yourself having a, a solid relationship, having a family. Do you have a vision for yourself? Do you have something to work towards on a daily basis? But it's not about the work right now, just the vision. <laughs> no, that's an act of self-love. You know, I've, I've gone through many, many, many years of not having a vision not having an idea of of where of who of where I was going of who I wanted to be you know what I'm saying kind of just droning through life Just going day by day with, with no focal point, you know, with no North Star. Been there. Done that. And during that time of my life, <laughs> there, was, there wasn't much self-love present. I know that for a fact. There was much more people-pleasing. I can tell you that was there. Much more putting others first, much more allowing draining energies to be within my circle, within my immediate direct circle. If there was a more allowing disrespect. There was no backbone present. No spine, just, just you know what I'm saying? Flopping, <laughs> just flopping through life. <laughs> um, creating a vision for yourself is paramount. Man. 
probably one of the more important things on this list. Gotta have something to work for. That gives your life meaning, gives your life purpose. Because without that, then what the fuck are we doing here? Got an answer? Tell me, let me know. Uh, number five. <clears throat> number five is giving grace. You gotta give yourself grace. Extend grace to yourself. And this one keeps coming back to me. Shouts out to Leak, you know what I'm saying? For Purpose Driven Men, look up that channel. This is my second time mentioning it. Shouts out to him. He's doing great work. Give yourself grace. That's a point that he's mentioned before that, you know, just kind of sticks with me. And that resonates as well. You know, we have to be patient with ourselves. We have to be understanding through all of these steps, through all of our days, all of our trials, tribulations, everything that life throws at us. Through all the mistakes that we make, we have to give ourselves grace. We're not perfect. We aren't robots. Everybody has their own perspectives on life. Everybody has their own expectations, their own goals, their own aspirations. Right? And sometimes ours don't align with others. Sometimes we hurt people. Sometimes other people hurt us. Sometimes just having a different outlet, you know, can cause conflict and tension. And you have to give yourself grace through that, through those times as well. And when you are, you know, when you catch yourself on a thirsty Thursday, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> If you catch yourself on any random given day and, you know, I'm saying maybe you had a rough day and you just want to order a fucking large ass chicken chipotle pizza, you know what I'm saying, with the with the sauce on there, you get the, the garlic parmesan, the garlic butter, you know, on the crust and the Cajun seasoning, you know what I'm saying, maybe some jalapenos on there, maybe some feta if that's how you're feeling and you want to get a large pizza to scarf down. Maybe like like half, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I've been there, but this is just hypothetical. We're just keeping the hypothetical. <laughs> if you have one of those days and you know that that happens, give yourself grace. Allow yourself to indulge a bit. Make some mistakes. Be human. You know what I'm saying? This stuff doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to happen overnight. And maybe you, you slip up. There's something where you're just sitting on edge. And you're like, man, I really don't want to do that. But oh, fuck, I ended up saying yes anyways. And now you got to show up. Give yourself grace. Allow yourself to make some mistakes. Allow yourself some understanding, some, some compassion. We can be our own worst enemies. I've been my own worst enemy. I'm speaking from experience. I'm not in here speaking out my ass to y'all, I promise you. Give yourself grace. And that might be probably the, the most important point in, in this in this topic. You know what I'm saying? Self-love doesn't come overnight. Self-love is a process, it's a journey, it's an ongoing thing that you will have to find new ways to show up for yourself throughout your life, you know, because we won't be in the same situation, we won't have the same thoughts, the same patterns forever, but you can always allow yourself grace, you know what I'm saying, throughout all that. Thanks for being here, I'm about to make something to eat downstairs um y'all take it easy and i'll see you in the next one deuces